<laughs> Hello, folks. How are you? Hello. Hello. I'm telling you, next time you've got to get that table because they're right by the pastries. <laughs> That's where it's at. Seriously. Hello. Hello. How's it going? Uh, oh, wait. Okay, we're all dialed in. Yes, yes. everyone's recording. Yeah. Excellent. <laughs> Let's go. Yes. Okay, so the final scene of yes. season one. Here it is. Major spoilers. Everyone's turned on. No, I'm. I'm <laughs> Can you imagine? Okay. Could you imagine if you'd already got to that part in the script? I know. Because you're only on one. Yeah, that'd be, that'd be difficult yeah. to be hold on to. I feel big, big trouble. To really, like, let everybody know all the things. Already. It is a challenge, though, being yeah. in a mystery show to yeah. not live in. You do have to check yourself and go, okay, what am I? What do I know? What am I supposed to know? What am I supposed to yeah. say? That's, you know, it's, that is it's terrifying because I ramble quite a bit. So I feel like it's just going to come out and then I'll realize five minutes later, minutes later, oh yeah, I definitely just ruined Just spoiled that. Yeah, yeah. the entire <laughs> season. That's okay. So, like, I'm going to keep him on here. And we'll, we'll, we'll do most of the Stop talking. Yeah, Stop it. You're doing it already. You're rambling. <laughs> so I do feel like your two characters, we haven't really got to know as much as, you know, the, the family dynamic. Uh, right? yeah. So what can you tease? about it. Have about you seen episode you? three yet? Not yet. Okay, all right. So there's definitely a bit more, certainly for Benny, yeah, in, uh, in episode three. And um, and I think you'll see, you know, where that's growing. And, um, you know, I think there's, at the moment, certainly in those first two episodes, there's this sort of like growing level of suspicion about who or what he might be up to. And uh, I think that's mainly because he's a journalist, you know, and like, and I think, you know. And a but, foreigner. And I think, yeah, and a foreigner, you know. But I think it's one of those things that, there is a sort of an inherent mistrust of, you know, we're in a bit of a funny time with the media and like people are like, oh, if he's a journalist, he must be after something. And I think the bottom line is, is that he, he definitely knows something. He knows perhaps a little bit too much. But, you know, I think you'll, uh, you'll begin to get a much clearer idea on top of an enormous reveal as well in episode three as to what his allegiances are and, you know, what his relationship with Joe is and where the show is going. We deliver answers very, very quickly in the show. And I know a lot of shows say that, but once you see episode three, I think you'll agree. It's, you know, we're not messing around. We want to respect viewers and we don't want to just draw this mystery out endlessly. We want to give a tight, fast-paced delivery of information. Absolutely, and it doesn't stop. Like, I think three really changes the landscape quite a bit in our show. And then every episode after that, it just it grows and grows and gets bigger. And it's kind of wild, honestly, the pace that we're going at. I think every time we get a new script, we're like, oh, we're doing that already. That that was like season two in my head, but all right, cool. And it's just really fun to kind of just keep expanding. I think we're just really confident. Our creators, Michelle and Tara, know exactly what they want to do. They're doing it really confidently at, at an incredible pace. Uh, so we're just genuinely excited every time we get a new script because it's just always incredible. And you can't really believe what we're doing so quickly. Um, and as far as my character, uh, Chris, I think you get to spend a little bit more time with him in four, actually, after everything changes in three. Uh, and he has some interesting, fun dynamics in there. And also the next few episodes after that, he, get, he gets more, more pulled into the uh, main investigation and the main mystery. Uh, and how he reacts to finding out a lot of things that are going on over the course of the season is really interesting. Uh, I think so. People are going to be surprised about how he reacts. So. You did a good job. You didn't spoil it. Thank you. I was right yeah. on the cusp that was of going one breath too. No, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Wow. Uh, <laughs> Do you think that's how the like the mystery genre, especially on network TV, they learned that? Like you have to start. You can't string a person along, yeah. giving them a little bit, but is it the challenge then, I guess, how, what do you follow it up with? Sure, I, you know, I think the, the intention, certainly from Tara and Michelle, I, I, you know, um, our creators, were, was that they wanted to, right from the get-go, they have an incredibly defined arc, not just for the season, but for the show. And I think, you know, there is, there is a recognition and a respect for the fact that we're in a very different age of television. And everyone wants to watch stream shows. We all, I don't know about you guys, but I watch, binge a lot of shows where I'm like, great, I want to watch from episode one through to the final episode. So I think, you know, you have to respect the fact that that television landscape is changing and, you know, people are busy. And so it, it's, I think the importance of delivering that information quickly was very intentional. And I think it was, you know, it's not just a forced kind of like sense of, oh, well, we better pad it with this and with this and with this. You know, there is a very clear sense of where we're going, not just yeah. in the macro scale, but with our characters too. And, you know, you guys aren't really going to have to, the audiences aren't going to have to wait around very long. And I think there is a frustration. People are like, well, 
I don't want to invest in a show if it's going to take forever, or I don't want to invest in a show if it's going to get cancelled. Let me tell you, the delivery of the information in this show is so thick and fast and comes so satisfyingly that I promise you, I know that an audience is going to be satiated and going to feel like, oh great, I remember a time when I was excited to wait a week, you know, and sort of, you know, it wasn't that long ago that we all had to watch our shows like that, and I really, really believe that from this episode and going forward, the cliffhangers that are set up week to week make it real appointment television. Yeah. Is it going to be like a pattern, an episode with a big cliffhanger at the end, or...? Are we going to have huge reveals during the episode too? I think a mixture of both. You know, I think the nature of, of, of television, especially network television, is you have to keep an audience coming back for something. So there always has to be that sense of where we're going with that. But you know, I as you know, as Robert touched on, we've got we've got a we've got a wonderful family drama at the centre of this mystery, and I think that's what marks it out from a lot of kind of mystery shows. You know, a lot of unrelatable things happening, and they're set in far off distant planets and all the rest of it. This is a show that's happening in a very, very real town with a very real family at the center of it. And, you know, and I love that because it grounds it in such a relatable place. So I think, you know, people, I've never been part of a show where I feel like there's so many different appealing genres. You know, you've got family drama, you've got incredibly comedically adept cast, you know, I mean, like, oh, it's, it's wonderful. It's about himself. <laughs> <laughs> is it that obvious? <laughs> you know, and, you know it, but to have so many different kind of genres at play, Within, within the show. It's very, very exciting because hopefully that, that opens up the oeuvre a bit to make it a, a little bit more of an appealing show to a lot of different people. Yeah. Um, so with this more of the science fiction aspect of the show, um, obviously with Piper's character and this group who's hunting her, were you guys surprised based on the scripts that you've already got where the show is taking that direction? Or yeah, is there I, anything very surprising that you may not be able to spoil? But. Right, that's that's the, the tricky part. Well, so the thing about it is, is I uh, before the season went to visit the writers' room and was just having a conversation with Michelle and Tara, and they started just talking about the overall scope of the show, and I was just like, what? What were? And they were like, we didn't tell you that already, and I was like. <laughs> Yeah, you did. Go on. What's up? And so they just kind of let me know a lot of what was going on. So I, I know where things are heading. So as I get each script, what's more so surprising to me is a lot of the character development and how it all kind of moves into those places, those beats that I do know are coming. Uh, and I just am so excited about how brilliantly, in my opinion, it's being done. Um, it's really, really just they're killing the scripts, in my opinion. Um, but yeah, I, I kind of know a lot of the beats. Uh, and I don't know if I was supposed to, but I... They just kind of like let me know, and I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah totally. I, I know that, that you told me that already. Go ahead. Keep the thing going. Yeah, she sat down with all this at the start and said, would you prefer to know? We've got a big kind of overarching. Or are you one of those actors who maybe doesn't want to know? And then you know you can play the kind of like ongoing discovery of it. Right. You know, Which I one were you? I didn't, I didn't get that uh, question. That's what I think they thought they asked me that, but they didn't. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, yeah, I knew that. I knew that. Yeah. They're like, yeah, yeah, no, no, no. Yeah, you told me already, but just like, what do you think? I forget. What is it again? And then they just like let me know all the things. Uh, I will great. say this: we built the opening mythology of the show on who is Piper. Episode three, you will have a huge answer to that question. So that is how early we are delivering information. Episode three. Usually it's five and or six. Most right. people, if most that, people would be like, oh, that's surely going to be the end of season. You know. Mm -hmm. So that gives you an idea not only of the speed with which we're delivering information, but how much more story there is to come after that too. So I think for those people who are like, oh, it's a mystery kid show. It is so much more than that, you know, there really is just so many, this is just the tip of the iceberg. That's all I'm going to say before I start. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Thank, you. Thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.